Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all. I just want to chat with y'all. And again, excuse the way that I look. I just woke up out of bed not too long ago. But I just got another hip-hop video for y'all. The lyricist that I'm going to talk with y'all about, this artist is an independent artist. He's been independent ever since the beginning of his career like he ended up like he first started out his career being signed to ruthless records easy E's label which easy E's wife tamika wright had took over as the ceo of ruthless records but you see he he wasn't really like getting like his fair share over there at ruthless and he ended up um starting up a label with business partner Damian Ritter Funk Volume, but that label ended up not lasting forever either. But now this artist had started up his own label, Undercover Prodigy, and got a distribution deal with 300 Entertainment. The lyricist that I'm going to discuss with y'all about today is Hobson. Is Hobson a top five lyricist? Do y'all feel that Hobson is a top five lyricist? Let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. Is Hobson a top five lyricist? I'm going to give you my answer. Do I feel that Hobson is a top five lyricist? Yeah, Hobson is in my top five. Now, I understand that Hobson may not be in some people's top five but i'm pretty sure hobson is in other people's top five favorite rappers favorite lyricist hobson is number two in my top five i mean they say that hobson is like the black eminem they say that hobson is like the black slim shady and like i said i mean you know what I mean? Because when it comes down to artists like Token, NF, you can tell the Eminem influence in their music. And you can also tell the Eminem influence in Hobson's like rapping ability. But I mean, when it comes down to Eminem and Hobson, their music doesn't sound the same. Same thing with Token and NF. But yeah, I do feel that Hobson is a top five lyricist, but that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, when it comes down to like the new school and the old school lyricist, like everybody's list is different because just like the video where I was breaking down the artists that didn't really deserve to be on the top 50 worst rappers list, like they even put rizza on the top 50 worst rappers list y'all know who rizza is rizza from wu-tang clan like rizza is the one that bonded everybody in wu-tang clan together and they put rizza on top 50 worst rappers list rizza didn't deserve to be on that list rizza can spit but you see rizza he's he's mainly a producer like when it came down to wu-tang clan the rizza was mainly the producer of the group just like when when it came down to N.W.A., Dr. Dre was mainly the producer for N.W.A. But yeah, Riz RZA didn't deserve to be on the top 50 worst rappers list. RZA can spit. But you see, that's the thing about it. Some people, whoever made that list probably doesn't even realize that the RZA was mainly like a he he he's mainly like a producer he was the producer for wu-tang clan like the song that blew wu-tang clan up the song protect your neck the rizza produced that song yeah the the rizza he produced that track protect your neck that's the song that blew wu-tang clan up but yeah yeah i mean if you ask me about hobson hobson is a top five lyricist I mean, my top five favorite rappers list is unique. Like, my top five favorite rappers list is not the same as everybody else. I, I, I enjoy standing out. I don't, I don't really enjoy fitting in. I don't really like being the same as everybody else. Being the same as everybody else is boring. You know, why be like everybody else? Why not just stand out and just be yourself? But yeah, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, my fellow Hobson fans. Do y'all feel that Hobson is a top five lyricist? 
Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my two new tracks, Going Through Hell Freestyle and The Time Is Now, they're both on my YouTube channel and they're also on my SoundCloud. Y'all can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.